welcome to another episode of What Trevor Says. My name is Travis, and today we are continuing my Doctor Who rewatch. Today we'll be talking about Season 3, Episode 6 of Doctor Who, titled The Lazarus Experiment. Dr. Lazarus has seemingly discovered the secret to eternal youth, but is something sinister at play? And in line with the number of main doctors, I will give you 13 interesting facts about this episode. The working title of this episode was The Madness of Professor Lazarus. The idea behind this story was to emulate the modern mad scientist type the way that the recent Spider-Man movies had with Green Goblin and Dr. Octopus. The doctor mentions reversing the polarity, which is a reference to the third doctor whose frequent solution was reversing the polarity. The character of Professor Lazarus had a different name in the very first draft, Professor Anger. Showrunner Russell T. Davies wanted to make strong use of Martha's family in this script because Martha was back home. To help add to the aged, decrepit, wrinkled look of the old Professor Lazarus prosthetics, the production team tracked down an old headcast of Vincent Price. Playing Dr. Lazarus, this was Mark Gatiss's first on-screen role for Doctor Who. Gatiss's appearance in this episode marks him as the first of only five people to have written and acted in Doctor Who's revived series. Gatiss had actually done previous work in the franchise, writing some of the new adventure novels in the early 1990s. A set piece for the genetic manipulation device is actually the redecorated descent capsule from the Impossible Planet and the Satan Pit of last season. The Doctor exclaims that they need to turn this up to 11, which is a reference to 1984's mockumentary, This Is Spinal Tap. A deleted scene showed that the Doctor helped with the writing of the United States Declaration of Independence, and he even kept a first draft copy in the pocket of his dinner jacket. Originally, Lazarus was going to be working on an invulnerable synthetic skin, but Davies felt that with Spider-Man 3 coming out around the same time and it featuring Venom, that the plots might be too similar, even though they definitely weren't. Stick around for tomorrow's video where we talk about the next episode, 42. But that's it for this episode of my Doctor Who rewatch. As always, my name is Travis. Thank you for listening to what I have to say, and you will see me tomorrow.